guys and welcome back to the first match with reanimator uh, we won the die roll and since we're combo trying to kill him quickly we're obviously going to go first i think this hand is fine turn one burn to turn two faithful suiting seems pretty good and we've got a package so we're going to go ahead and hold on to this just about every deck will go out of the way to kill your early accelerator and if he manages to do that it's not a, not a big deal i mean we can't currently cast the faithful suiting given our hand but yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be killing it. Right, so right here we're going for a turn 3 Inferno Titan if he... Oh, that's nice. We manage it to keep our bird alive. We are revealing the information, so that's going to give him an incentive to hurry and kill our bird. But we're still getting it on turn 4, which is pretty good. It's just not as good as turn three, but this is probably like a Naya deck, maybe pod. Yeah, birthing pod. I don't think that's good enough. So we're just going to kind of wreck him. I'm just going to ride this Inferno Titan all the way home. So what's the best thing you can get here? A Visionary, you get another card. Thalia, that's not good enough. These are all one toughness creatures, yeah. So, okay, we cut kind of a nutter hand, but I, I don't know. I mean, Faithless Looting is pretty much that good. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get our combat step out of the way. Oh, well, he's basically dead next turn, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what else I can find. I think we get rid of some of these lands. Could just be mean, play some more spells. Yep, Blade Splicer Pod into, I guess, what, Huntmaster? Yeah, I guess that's the best play he's got. Uh, what are the four drops? I guess it guarantees that he has a blocker. Okay, that's, that's probably a little better play. You can actually stop the Inferno Titan. Alright, so, obviously, Township is the, uh, well, no, he still has a golem. So if he double blocks, we're still going to lose the titan. But we could just shoot the golem, force bad blocks. Yeah, so we're going to hold back trackers to see if he blocks or not. I mean, obviously he has to block, so... Probably could have got him with the bird, but I don't think it's too relevant. Let's see some of the better plays he could have here. Typically, they run one, so I mean, I don't think I should expect that again. He probably has his own Inferno Titan, maybe. Okay, so he just didn't really have anything. I turned three Inferno Titan, a little creature deck that plays like maybe two main board removal spells. It's just a little too much, so. Alright, well, Birthing Pod, um, I don't know, like, I didn't ha really have a whole lot in mind when making this sideboard. I don't think another Thrag Tusk is necessary. Um, they probably have a pretty difficult time dealing with Avacyn, but I expect, since he didn't really see the Crater Hoof plan, he might be bringing in Oblivion Ring, so Avacyn might be incorrect. 
I could just try to deal with his pods by by bringing Oblivion Ring, but you know maybe just trying to outrace it with the Crater Hoof is a better plan. So anything that slows that down is probably incorrect. So it's possible I just don't want to do anything, but uh, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of flyers, so I want to keep my lingering souls. I'm gonna keep as much filtering as possible. Um, they can have some pretty explosive draws. Uh, I expect some graveyard hate, so maybe just play around that. Uh, I think we'll just keep it the way it is. I don't really see anything that just absolutely shuts him off. All right, it's pretty, pretty bad hand. I'm gonna ship that. This hand's much better. Um, I mean, best thing you could be doing is play dismember and kill the bird. And he has no turn one accelerator, which means he probably has a way to kill my bird. And I'm kind of all in on it right now for this mulch. But we're just gonna go for it. All right, well, he's got nothing. Now, I can mulch and faithless looting, which obviously what I'm going to do. The problem is, though, you always usually want to mulch first to try to hit another Scar's land, but I could easily just not hit the red, so I'm going to mulch with this land. All right, well, we hit it, but, you know, it's not information we had previously. All right, so we're going for a win in two turns. He could just drop the graveyard hate, but we, now he, he just has to have it, so that's the, the current plan. And he hasn't done anything for two turns. Okay, so yeah, it turns three blade splicer. Not all that scary. Here we have enough mana to do a couple different things. I think mulching is a little better than flashback faithless looting, but we do have a lot of lands. The problem is that we can't flashback faithless looting and play lingering souls. So I think we just want to mulch. Alright, just more stuff. Um, now Spellbomb will suck, but you know. Can't do nothing about it. Alright, so we're threatening victory next turn. Let's uh, hope he doesn't really do much disruption. I mean, really the best thing he could do here is, you know, drop a Tormod's Crypt or something. Okay, so he's attacking. We're just going to soak this damage. And hopefully win on the swing back. Okay, so he's got just nothing. Maybe he could kill the Crater Hoof, but I don't... Like he could go with Dismember, and I don't think that's really all that good. I'm not going to reveal the township yet. It might be a backup plan. You get a restoration or block, but I, don't, I think that's still lethal. You just count it up. And let's see, 14. Yeah, so I don't think Restoration Angel is going to save him. I guess he could like bounce the Blaze Spicer and like, super gang block this guy. That might let him live, and then we can just bring another one back the next turn. They'll put him pretty low. I see, so he's got three, four, eight, pow eight points of toughness, and only seven points of power. So the creator of Behemoth doesn't even die. So he doesn't even have good blocks. So it's like kind of a one-sided wrath, which is, like I said, enough to usually take a game down. And we're fortunate enough to have the second reanimation in the graveyard, so. Like, now, at this point, I could just drop Gavany and kill him. Like, I don't even need to bring it, bring back Crater Hoof. It's a little more flashy to bring back Crater Hoof, though. Alright, so he just didn't have anything. That's how super quick this deck is. And I'm pretty sure, for the most part, Standard is going to be slowing down, except for maybe Zombies. So, this might be a pretty good option to... Pick up and take to your local game stores, grind it, maybe take it to a few events. Um, uh, stay tuned for the next match. Thanks for watching, guys.